Hello, Interneters. Uh, this is a little tip section that I like to do. Others may find it too cumbersome, but if you're so inclined like me, I like to use the computer to have all the information at hand, and I don't like to go backwards and open up old scanned records, maybe from a previous office or an old paper chart and I want to connect it to what we're seeing in the EHR, like for example following a weight or following a hemoglobin, uh, what have you. So here's a way to take that scanned information on a paper record and you can incorporate it into the electronic health record and this is how I do it. So for example, pretend for argument's sake we have a patient here, test sibling, female, 23 months of age. It is currently, right now, May 5th, 2013. And at this date, I want to go back in time and enter an old record. This I pull up an old record that we scanned in, and let's say it looks something like such. So there she was at six months of age on... 9-1, excuse me, that would have been three months of age. Let's say three months of age. <laughs> excuse, excuse me for that, my, my mathematics. So let's say, let's, say th let's say three months of age. <laughs> These numbers will not make any sense, but anyways, that's, that's okay, <laughs> just for example purposes. So she, uh, at three months of age, at 9-1-2011, uh, we got these measurements. She was 16 pounds, 2 ounces, 26 inches tall, had a hemoglobin of 9.6, and I want that information entered into the computer, and I don't want to have to keep opening up that scanned piece of paper because it's a pain in the neck. I just want to look at it and have it be effortless. So what I do is I come over to the first tab on the left, which is this one by the RX, new patient note. Go ahead and open a new patient note. And what I'm going to do, this is the most important step. When you open a new patient note, you'll get an info tab. See here at the left, new patient note, and then it says here, info tab. What you want to do is come down here uh, part way to the date. This is the most important part. I want to incorporate that those vitals, but I want the computer to know that it was done on a prior date, not on 5-5-2013. That's today. I want to make that 9-1-2011. Remember, this is when that visit was, 9-1-2011. So right here, that's when the date was. So I need to put in over here, change this date to 9 one, 2011, and then what I do is I want to come over to the right and I want to pick my template that I want to use. Right now it doesn't have any template set, so what I like to do, I can put those pieces of information just on an MA only visit, makes it a little easier. You'll get this little warning, because you, if you had data there you'll lose it that's okay we don't have any data there and here's an MA only visit and what I want to do is I want to come down a little bit and I want to enter this information so I want to enter her hemoglobin which was 9.6 from that visit 9.6 I want to enter her height which was 26 inches this is all gonna not not be accurate for a three-month-old but you understand it's a, just an example. 16 pounds. I said she was 2 ounces. If I had done a blood pressure, I could have done something here like 60 over you know, 42 or something and whatever else. And I could have even have calculated the body mass index. Now I can come back and save this information. or I could have signed it too. So now these numbers are entered into the system. So for example, I've set up our templates such that the, uh, uh, the hemoglobin is always pulled 
from the last note, and so we can see what the last hemoglobin measured was when it's been entered in the system. And also now we have the height and the weight and the BMI to calculate, plus we have blood pressure to pull into uh, new notes to compare to uh, previous visits. So I'll show you what I mean. So for example, now I want, today I'm seeing her, but I want to see what's her trend on her growth. So for growth uh, curve parameters, remember we come over here, we look for the big arrow. There we are, right by immunizations, growth charts. I'm going to open it up. And now we can see down to three months of age, this is for length, this is what her length was. So I now can see her trend of what she's been doing. Boy, she's really been growing. And I can do that too, and I can change that, of course, with uh, length. And I can change it up oh, into her head circumference to, to her, her uh, weight. And I can see here she had a pretty good weight, gained too much, lost a whole bunch. Now she's way overweight. So anyways, so now I can look up these parameters and now they're all in the EHR and it's a little more accessible. I find it just takes a couple of seconds. I like to do it especially when I'm seeing a new patient who we're just getting scanned information so I can at least see a year's worth of a trend, or if we have a uh, uh, an old patient we've been following, but they've all been in the paper, and uh, and now we've switched them over to the EHR. And again, I like to see at least a year's trend so I can make sure uh, to see you know are they overweight? Have they been improving? Have they been losing weight? What what, what have they had trouble with anemia in the past? What have you? Because I find it more efficient. So that's my little trick. Um, again. This is converting scan paper record to the EHR data by entering previous well visits, such as the hemoglobin, blood pressure, weight, height, BMI, etc. Um, that's how I do it. Thank you.